Okay, so turn left here. Are you sure? Yeah, definitely. Wait, left is this way, right? I'm driving, Thomas. I can't look right now. Left is left. Is that car on the left or the right? There are like a million cars, Thomas. Okay, left. Here. Here! Well, if you wanted to come to the channel that was going to help you become an entrepreneur, let me give you the best advice you're going to get. Don't do it. Hey everyone, and welcome to the Horns and Hacks channel. My name is Uni, and like some of you, I'm working my way towards becoming a billionaire. If you are, let's get this straight. You want to be the rich kid on the block. You're after nice cars, sparkly jewelry, oh, a golden toilet with a massage built in. Look, if money's what you're after, then maybe try acting or marry rich. Are you just too ugly to do either of those things, but you're still just itching to venture into business? Well, buckle up, because here's the reality of it. Entrepreneurship sucks. You're probably seeing these ads of businessmen on Instagram, right? They're driving a Ferrari, they have a Rolex on their hand. It's like some kid who just got his license is talking about making his first million dollars. That's bullshit. Real entrepreneurship, it looks a little something like this. So, it's like a lemon and a melon combined into one. I call it a lemon. All the tartness of a lemon, all the skin of a melon. A lemon. That's the worst idea I've ever heard. Okay, Uni, you can pitch one. Okay. Have you ever tried a hat, but your horn got in the way? No, I haven't. Well, for me, as a unicorn, I think holes missing from hats is a big problem. So, what if we could fix that with the whole hat? Oh my god, that's so brilliant. Whoa, it's a great idea, Uni. As Levi Ackerman says, no matter what principle you choose, no one will tell you the rightness of your choice. I even like Thomas's lamellan idea more. Yes! Suck it! Sorry! Sorry, Uni. You guys just don't get it. Thomas... Will you help me? Is a duck's butt waterproof? I, uh, I, I don't know. But, uh, I'll take that as a yes. That's where everything started falling apart. I was working on prototypes. I hardly slept or ate. I looked for suppliers, assembled a layout, selected fabrics. If you want to be an entrepreneur, sure. Just give up all your personal life and free time. Layout. What? Oh, layout. Can you order some samples? I, I need to get some sleep. Uh, yeah, how many samples? Seven. How, how many? Seven hundred? Seven thousand? Yeah, uh, here's my card. Just pay. Uh, okay. Uh, okay. Uh, okay. 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 Personal time, it's not such a big problem, and you can get used to this pace of life, but you gotta be prepared for the unbearable burden of responsibility. Ugh. All responsibility will fall onto you. Ugh. The entrepreneur. It cannot be delegated, and it cannot be abandoned. Every action you make is gonna have consequences for you and your business. You wanna sleep until noon and do your calls while brushing your teeth? Go for it. But sooner or later, you're gonna have to pay for it. Honestly, I just skip brushing altogether. Uni! There's a delivery guy at the door. They've been ringing the doorbell for 15 minutes. Uh, I'll, I'll be right there. And uh, here's your order. Oh, thank you. There's, uh, there's some more boxes coming along the way. Oh. This is, this is more than some more boxes. You asked for 7,000. I did? No, that's, no, this, this is too many. Are these boxes gonna pay rent? What? This doesn't look like the layout. Oh yeah, by the way, your card was declined. Uh, I used mine to cover the difference and now you owe me $4,000. Fuck. You won't have any money. You won't have any money at all, 
and you're gonna be lucky if you can even afford a hot dog at a gas station, but you probably won't even be able to afford that either. Say goodbye to the sweet, sweet vice of roadside hot dogs. You'll be looking for money, counting money, asking for money, but never making it, only spending it. Eventually, you might get some cash floating in, but not in the beginning of your business. For at least the first year or two, you'll be giving every single penny you own to keep your business afloat. Hats here. Miss, do you want a hat? Hat here. You're wasting your time here. You need to take it to the next level, kid. What do you want, man? Don't bother me. <laughs> what if I told you there was one person in Dubai who could help your business grow? What if I took you to a startup chic who would change your life forever? Hmm. Sounds convincing and not at all like a scam. Yeah, let's go. The essence of entrepreneurship is that there will be problems every day. There are a million things to do on the road to success. How to return defective goods, how to get through another day without starving to death, how to pay your suppliers, where to find an investor. Keep in mind, if you can find someone more knowledgeable to help you on your journey, it will be so much easier. That's what I did. Yeah, this idea is horseshit. Literally, you'd be better off selling horses shit, you know? Total crap. But I like you. You know, I'll give you the money. There's, there's something about you. Wait, really? Yeah, sign here. There you go. And the money's all yours. But in one week, you have to pay me back that amount, plus interest, as a little cherry on top, a little 30% personal fee just for me. Otherwise, I'm gonna twist your head off. This is my town, buddy. You can't hide from me. That's quite a, a hefty sum. Uni, my friend, my buddy. Your signature's already on the paper. I have to gallop like the unicorn that you are and bring home that rainbow. And don't fuck up my money, kid. Ha ha ha! Yes! No! Hey, are you okay? How did you find me? By smell. You should take a shower. Just leave me alone. Soon this killer raccoon is gonna find me. Probably gonna kill me. Whatever. It'll put me out of my misery. I couldn't take watching you suffer anymore, okay? I read up on the law and called your suppliers and I sent them a pre-trial complaint. Here you go. They sent you new corrected samples. Oh my god. You're amazing. Uni, there you are, dude. Someone just ordered a thousand units, all right? We gotta go, like now. <laughs> oh, May, you gotta take a shower, dude. <laughs> okay, left. Here, here. Listen, entrepreneurship, it's like a roller coaster. One day you're on top of the world, the next day you're deep in shit. But despite all the struggle, I wouldn't trade this for anything else. Why? Because every up, every down, every detour and every dead end, they're not just obstacles. They're lessons, they're emotions, and that thrill of creating something out of nothing, seeing your dreams take shape, man, there's no better feeling. So yeah, it's crazy hard, but it's worth it. It's so worth it. Ha! Yes, we did it! Noise. Dude, we recouped half our investment just from these narwhals. And I'll take that. It's a pleasure doing business with you, kid. Oh, damn, man. <laughs> we got money, we lost money, we made money, we gave money away. It's time to move on. What do you mean? Dude, we've got nothing left. It's not the dollars that define you, it's the spirit. We still have caps left, so we need to get the moped out, shake off the seaweed, and get on with our work. Embrace the madness and go. Welcome to entrepreneurship. Who the fuck are you talking to? Hey, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and press that like button, and uh, you know, write in the comments if you want to hear that story of how Thomas and I got the scooter out of the Persian Gulf. Bye. Yeah.
Make this money, money, make this money, money, make this money, money, make this.